How do you feel about people's attitudes towards dentists? Overall, we're one of the most respected professions. However, a lot of people have had bad experiences. So I try hard to make them feel comfortable and explain everything and, if, and encourage them to ask questions. And I think if we just have communication, that's the number one thing. And overall, most patients are very pleased. So how do you feel about going to the dentist? Well, you know, they're kind of like used car salesmen. You, you don't really know if you can trust them or not. I mean, every time I come in, I feel fine, nothing hurts, and I go out with a filling. So I don't know. Do I, have a, do I need a filling or not? It's just kind of I don't trust them. So have you had this dentist before? Yeah, he seems to be pretty good, you know, takes his time, nice and gentle, explains things to you. I like him. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get to one of those fillings today. Let's go to Lori back. How have you been doing? Good. Yeah. Everything else besides coming here going well? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. we're going to need to numb that too. For okay. a little a little jelly on it to pre-numb it. Chocolate mint. Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> okay, bite together a little bit. Just click it good. Okay, big pinch. What made you decide to become a dentist? I, I have always wanted to work in the healthcare field, and I've always enjoyed working with my hands, and dentistry combines both of those. It also gives you the chance to own your own business and uh, just to work in the community and help people okay. out. Not too fun, huh? That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Feel a little bit of a pinch? <laughs> when you like to walk around all day like that. <laughs> I do usually pretty much like that. I try to ask patients how they're doing and try to joke, take the strain off of this. It's probably one of the most stressful situations someone goes through and then a lot of patients are going through other things like work problems and divorces and everything else. So you can make their trip as pleasant as possible. What do you enjoy most about your job? I enjoy, what, what I enjoy most about my job is helping people. When people come in with some problems and I can really help them out and they appreciate what I've done, that's, that's very satisfying. And also when I see people that have quite a few problems, they haven't been to the dentist in, in a few years, if I can help them out and help them keep everything maintained and trouble free, that's very enjoyable, seeing that kind of turnaround. Is that pretty numb up there? Or? Yeah. Is that numb? Yeah. Feeling any of that? Oh, I feel like pressure, but... Okay, that's normal. If you feel anything sharp, though. Let me know. That hurt there? Turn just a little bit away from right there. Okay. Let's go over that a little better.
Okay, open please. Let's see if we stay open. Close just a little bit. A little bit more. Good right there. Okay, we're gonna mix up the silver filling material. Here's a little cotton to catch the crumbs. Doesn't make a gag. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Are there times when you feel like quitting? Uh, no, not really. I don't, I don't feel like quitting and throwing in the towel, but sometimes I get very frustrated when I, when I see a patient who needs help and I recommend the, the best treatment for them or what needs to be done and they think I'm trying to rip them off or, you know, take them in and I'm really thinking of their best interests at heart and people, especially people who haven't been to the dentist in quite a few years, then all of a sudden they, they want to have something done and uh, they think it's my fault that they've had those problems going on. That's very frustrating. But it, does, it happens very infrequently. Most people appreciate what I'm trying to do, um, and they're very satisfied with, with the care that they receive. So how do you feel about going to the dentist? Well, I don't really, it's not one of my favorite things to do, but once in a while it's necessary, and uh, right now I've got a real sore tooth, so I, I don't mind it a bit today. Well, how long has that tooth been hurting you? Uh, it's been giving me problems for about four or five days now. Uh, were you able to sleep last night? Did it wake you up? Uh, I was up all night. I was, it hurt all night long last night. How about hot or cold or pressure? Both, five. If I drink something hot, it hurts. If I, cold water makes it hurt, just the whole side of my mouth, just, just terrible pain all night. Uh -huh. Well, looking at the x-ray, like I've already shown you, there's, there's no way to save that tooth. And the best thing is just for it to come out. If we, if we went and spent a lot of money and time doing root canal and crown, it cost over $1,000. And if it even lasted a year, that'd be a long shot. So the best thing is just to have that tooth out. When was the last time you came in to see a dentist? Well, I don't have any insurance or anything. I haven't been to the dentist for about five years, but I really hadn't, didn't have a need to go. But uh, I'd say if it's not right out in front, it's in the back, let's just go ahead and take it out. I just can't stand to live like this with that pain every day. That'd, that'd be best. And the best thing after we get this done is to have you in for a checkup and get regular exams, because if we have you in every six months, you know, we can catch these problems when they're small so it doesn't end up like this. Well, I'll come back every six months after this. I know I will. No, you need to come in for a checkup right after. Well, okay, I'll do okay. that too. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get all set up for that. Well, what we're seeing right here is that the, the tooth has just lost all the bone. There's a big cavity going all the way down. It's all broken off. There's really no way to save it. So the best thing is just to have it out. As Anytime we take out the tooth, there are always some risks and possible complications. They're very rare. Uh, because there's been so much bone loss around the tooth, they'll be very simple. And the main complication that you'll find is a little bleeding. We'll put a little gauze in there. We'll just have you bite on that. Uh, but just no spitting, no rinsing today, because that can disrupt the blood clot. Just keep biting on the, on the cotton that we'll put in there. And, uh, you know, after an hour, you can go ahead and take it out. If it starts bleeding a little bit, go ahead and bite on a couple more gauze. Uh, there, there are some very rare risks. Sometimes the, the jaw can get broken. There can be some, a lot of pain. That's called a dry socket. Um, there can be other sinus problems for upper teeth and et cetera. But if you have any problems, just be sure to come back in here and let us see them. And uh, that's all included in the price of the extraction, all the follow-up care. Right. So. Just go ahead and do it, but just be careful. Oh, okay. You bet.
Okay, we'll need to numb that tooth, which should be a relief. Okay, open please, for wide. Okay, just take a deep breath. Okay, good, almost done. Okay, good. How's that feel down there? It's pretty numb? It feels uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good right now. Tooth's not hurting now? Okay, we'll go ahead and start. Just gonna loosen it up a little bit. See if it's numb. Feeling any of that? Mm -mm. Okay, good. Okay, you feel a lot of pressure. Just gently rock it back and forth. Get out one piece. If it breaks, then it's really trouble. Okay, a lot of pressure. Okay, there it is. So, what do you think about the dentist now? Well, it was really uncomfortable, and uh, I just don't care for things like this. And it's, maybe it's necessary, but it'll be a long time before I ever come back to another dentist. I don't think I'll ever go to the dentist again. Do you yourself go to a dentist, or do you diagnose yourself? I, I usually have one of... Uh, one of the other dentists that I'm working with uh, take a look and do a checkup and a cleaning. I don't, I don't try to clean my own teeth um, because it can do too much damage. You just can't see in there. So I, uh, I usually have a friend who's a dentist to do most of my work.